Being the first national champion in LSU diving history is humbling enough, but being inducted into the LSU Athletic Hall of Fame is a feeling Allison Mache can't put into words. It, it really is indescribable. There, there's no words to truly express just how humbling and how honored I am to, uh, to be um, inducted and included in the, just the history. Please welcome to the LSU Athletic Hall of Fame. Allison Mace. Mace arrived at LSU in the fall of 1985 and she helped sustain one of the most successful periods in the Tiger swimming and diving history. I mean, when I came to LSU, uh, I, I worked really hard during our practices. When we were doing anything, I was trying to be the first to, to finish, not because I wanted to be first, but because I wanted to show my effort. That effort paid off. In 1989, she won the NCAA one-meter springboard title. She was an All-American each of her four seasons and was named the SEC Diver of the Year in 1988. Diving was, was, was my thing. It was very focused, but it's what I love to do. You know, my dedication kind of helped me to, to get that, uh, that extra mile, to, so to say. A native of Cherry Hill, New Jersey, Mesh was a four-time SEC champion and she earned a silver medal at the 1991 Pan American Games on both the one-meter board and the 10-meter platform. Unbelievable to come away as a champion on one-meter. One-meter has always been my, my really good event. Um, and then it would be 10 meter. The dedication to become a world-class diver was not always easy at times. The SEC championship was not one of my better meets, so when I went into the, the, uh, the NCAA championships, I don't know that I had a, a high expectation, so maybe that was a good thing. And um, I, mean, I had a really, really good meet. Mesh believes the support of the coaching system and personalized training is a big reason why she was so successful during her time at LSU. One of the things that I, that I took away from LSU, mainly from the coaches that I had here, was uh, the, the philosophy that everything happens for a reason. Mesh credits most of her collegiate success to the dedication of her late coach Donnie Crane, who passed away tragically in 2014. Eric, back to you.